if you have been watching the last videos, the last two videos actually from the Greylock playlist, you have seen how you can uh, create inputs and how you can uh, send data uh, to your Greylock system from different devices using uh, different uh, log formats and uh, how you can see those uh, received messages. Well, in this video, I'm going to talk to you about uh, indices, streams, and uh, how to make uh, different messages go into particular streams uh, or to particular indices. So if you're going to go to streams, you're going to see that the default uh, stream is uh, called all messages. And in this stream, all the messages are coming to it. And for example, here we have some kind of logs from uh, our Cisco, ASA firewall. Let's see what's next. Okay, most of them are from the Cisco device. But uh, let's do this. Let's uh, filter by the source. And we can see this is from the Cisco ASA firewall and this is from the Greylog1 server. And you can check them and so on. But the problem is that uh, if you would be interested to look for example, only for your uh, Linux uh, syslog messages, uh, you will need to select the source, as you have seen uh, before, uh, from the sources. Uh, you would need to do different things to find your messages. And um, more than this, uh, the default stream, all messages, uh, it will gonna send all the messages into the default index set. Yeah. So if we were gonna go to indices, system, then indices, you will see here the default index, uh, how many documents it has, the size of it, and so on, the shards, the replicas. What I would recommend you to do here is that um, you should create a, an index set, a new index set, Let's name this one uh, Cisco ASA. And the description would be something like um, ASA syslog. The index prefix, we can name it uh, Cisco. The analyzer would uh, keep, it, we will gonna keep it to standard, uh, the shards, uh, and I wouldn't advise you to go more than four, which is the default. Uh, the number of replicas, um, in case you'd um, have a cluster, like we have uh, in this environment, you can uh, put a replica of one. That means that you're gonna have some backup in case uh, uh, your uh, first replica will gonna suffer some damages or something like that will gonna happen you're going to have uh, the other replica, replica 1, which uh, might have the healthy information and uh, you can recover your cluster or your information uh, much easier. But depending on, uh, on your environment, you can uh, go for replica 0 or 1 or 2 or 3 or uh, it depends on what you want to achieve. Uh, for this test, I'm going to keep it, or for this demo, I'm going to keep it to the default, which is 0. The index rotation, usually I do it by the size. Uh, for the size, I wouldn't recommend you to go more than uh, 50 gigs or 30 gigs of data. Uh, considering that this is a demo, we can keep it to something like um, 70 megabytes. Uh, then we will have the index rotation. You can do like close index, do nothing. Or for example, delete index. So I will put delete index, and the maximum number of indices in my case I will put I will set it up to two. 
And in this index, I would like to send all my ASA syslog. So for that one, I'm going to go to streams, all messages, go for the sources, source quick values. So this is our ASA syslog device. Let's do this. Let's hit search. And let's take this source. And then I will go to streams. I will create another stream. I will call it uh, Cisco ASA stream. What kind of messages are routed? ASA syslog and the index set. Here you would like to, if you would like to send it to a different index, uh, like I am, I'm gonna select uh, Cisco ASA and I'm gonna remove all the matches from the ASA messages stream. It doesn't make any sense to duplicate your data. Okay, and right now the, the stream uh, is created. Uh, let's create a rule for it. And I'm going to select this input, ASA firewall logs. And I will click here, a message must match at least one of the following rules. Okay, and right now we will add a stream rule. I will say source match exactly and this is the value for the field that it should have. I'm going to click on save and right now let's go to the streams and start our stream and let's see if uh, we are receiving some kind of messages here and we do. And our uh, ASA firewall syslog messages they are not going to the default one and they are going they are not going to the default index they are going to the this index so let's check the indices and as you can see it has 20 documents and uh, 76.2 uh, kilobytes let's do the same for uh, gray log server i'm going to call this one gray log one stream linux syslog and the default index ah, right now it's set to the default index uh, let's create another index for gray log one Let's call it gray log one index, then description, uh, liner syslog, index prefix, let's put it as Linux. And then we were gonna do the same thing. Index size, around 70 megs, delete indices, number of indices two, and click on save. Let's go back to the streams. Let's go back to Greylog one stream. Edit the stream and uh, let's set it to Greylog one index and remove the matches from uh, all messages. Yeah, let's go back to the messages. Uh, all messages streams. And let's uh, select it by the source, quick values, yeah. We have it here. And right now we will copy this value from the source field. Go to the streams, go to Greylog1 stream, manage rule. We will select the input um, for Linux syslog. 
and then click the radio button with a message must match at least one of these following rules add a stream rule source match exactly and this is our value hit save we are done and start the stream let's create another index for the Windows server I'm gonna call this one Windows event index description uh, Windows events in this prefix, let's call it Windows. Index size, again around 70 megs. Delete index, delete the index, and then maximum number of indices to going back to the streams. Let's create a stream called Windows events stream Windows events and we will route all the messages to this index and remove the matches from all messages stream and in this case uh, none of our messages will gonna go uh, to the all messages In this case, let's go to input. Let's select Windows events. Okay, let's uh, copy now the value from the source field, copy. Then go back to the streams, manage rules. We will select this input. Again, the message must match at least one of these following rules. Add a stream rule, source. This is our value and click on save. Okay, so now we are done. Let's start the stream. Okay, so let's go and check the Windows event messages and we can see them coming here okay so they are getting in a correct way here let's check our gray log one syslog we can see them here and our Cisco SA streams and right now, there should be nothing in uh, all messages stream. And there you go. You have uh, seen how you can uh, create uh, an index, how you can uh, create a stream, and how you can uh, route your messages uh, to a particular stream using rules, and uh, from that stream, how to send it to an index. And in that index, you have also seen what you can do to adjust it based on uh, the memory or the uh, storage space that you have on your server and uh, if you'd like to use a backup or you don't want to use a backup thanks for watching and uh, don't forget to subscribe